Hey guys, Staffles here. Today we're going to be making a coin system inside of Roblox Studio. So we have the coins value up here, and then we have spinning coins floating up and down as you can see, and if we touch them, they will collect. So let's get right into the tutorial. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to have for your coin is obviously the coin model. Now, I'm not exactly a builder, so I'm going to be using the toolbox for this. So we're just going to go in the toolbox, go in models, search for coin. This coin is a good one right here. So just drag this in. Now this coin has, uh, it could have some bugs in it, so we're not going to keep every script. But we want to keep the float script and the spend script. So we're just going to delete this. Make sure not to delete the mesh because that's actually the coin. And make sure to delete this. Now inside of the spin script it has some weird things. So just delete those. And then our coin should, if we run the game, it'll spin around just like this. By the way guys, I will leave the link for this coin in the description. Just make sure you delete everything except for the float script, the spin script, and the mesh. Okay guys, so the second thing you want to do for your coin is in your explorer here make sure you guys go in the view tab make sure you have explorer checked and ex properties checked now we're gonna go in the explorers tab explorer tab here and we're gonna look for server script service right here and we're gonna go on the price the plus icon to the right of it press the plus and then make sure just insert a script now right click the script and press rename and we're just gonna call this leader leader stats script. Now what leader stats does is if you notice in games usually sometimes if they have like coins or some points right here on the top right corner there will be uh, like a little leaderboard. Yeah, that's actually something that Roblox has set up for you and here's how it's just it's actually very easy to set up and I'll show you guys how to set up right now. So go inside that script of server script service and, make, and the, uh, delete the hello and we're just going to um, make an event for when the player joins the game because obviously you want the um, leaderboard to be created for the player every time it joins the game. So we're just going to say game dot players. Players is right here. And then we're just going to say dot player added. Player added is an event that Roblox has which fires every time a player joins. And we're just going to have that connect a function. Delete the front parenthesis on that, put two more, and then press enter but make sure to put inside the function parameters we're just going to put player because when the player joins and we have a parameter called player if you remember from the last episode in the teleportation pads functions have their set parameters so the player added event if you put in a variable right here it's telling you which player joined so this is the player object so now what we're going to do is we're just going to make the leader stats so we're going to say local leader stats if you remember Local is how we define a variable. We're going to say local leader stats equals instance. Now instance um, instance is how you create things in Roblox. So you can do instance dot new and then inside this you want to put quotes and then you can make a part. You can make particles. You can really make anything with instance. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you guys want to touch up on it more. So you're going to put instance dot new parentheses and then some quotes and then we're just going to do a folder. After that folder, we're going to put a, a, a comma, a space, and then we're going to type the player. Because remember, we ha we want to put the leader stats inside of the player object so that the um, leaderboard is saved to the player. We're just going to press enter, go line down. We're going to make sure that leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats. Make sure it is exactly how I spell it here, no space, all lowercase. Because if Roblox sees this name inside of the player, it will automatic automatically set up that leaderboard thing. It's very cool that Roblox does that. Um, we're going to go two lines down. We're going to make another variable for the actual coins. And we're just going to say local coins equals instance dot new. So we're creating something and we're going to create an integer value. So there's actually, you could also make a number value, but I like to use integer values because if with an int value, you're um you're you're only being able to use full numbers 
So if we did a number value, I don't know, maybe somehow you could have like 5.2 coins. We don't want that. We only want like 5 coins. So we're going to put an int value, and then we're going to have a comma. And instead of it being parented to the player, we're going to have it be inside of leader stats. So just type in leader stats, just like that. And then after that, we're going to have its name. We're going to have its name be coins. And then we're going to have its value set to zero. This will be like their starter value. So now if we go inside of our game, in the top right corner, Roblox is set up for us. The coins, the value, and the leaderboard. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so you guys can just close out our leader stats. We're going to now continue working on inside of the coin. We're going to insert a script into the coin. So go to the plus to the right of the coin. We're going to press script. We're going to rename that script to collect script. We're going to delete hello world. And next, we want an event to be fired when the coin is touched. So we're just going to say function on touch. So we're making a function and we're going to name it on touch. We want to have some parameters in that. We're just going to say object. That object will be whatever touches it. And then right right after the end, we're going to press enter and then we'll make an end for us. Under that end, we're going to have script.parent, which is the coin model. As you can see, the script's parent is the coin model. We're going to say script.parent.touched connect function. Oh wait, no, we're not going to connect the function actually. We're going to touch. We're going to connect on touch. So basically what they're saying here is it's going to fire on touch when it's touched and it's also going to tell us what touched it by passing through this object variable. Next we want to find the uh, humanoid if it even is there so we're going to say local whoops, local humanoid equals object.parent find first child humanoid now, if you remember from the celebration pad, this is checking if the pl if there's actually a player that touched the coin, not I don't know a car, a plane, whatever you have in your inside of your Roblox game. Next thing we want to do is we want to check if that humanoid's even there. So we're just going to say if humanoid. We're going to put a tilde. Now a tilde in Roblox is it's saying not, and then we're going to say tilde and then equal. Now what this means is that we're saying it if it isn't equal to nil. Nil means nothing inside of code. So we're saying if humanoid doesn't equal nothing, then... So this is just checking if the player is there. So if the player even is there, we want to find the player. So we're going to say local player is game dot players find first child and we're just going to take the object dot parent Name. So we're looking inside the players and we're going to find the player with the object parent's name, which would obviously be the player. Alright guys, I actually made a mistake here. Instead of object, we're going to have humanoid. After that, we're just going to check if player is, if it is equal to nil. So we're just going to put a tilde. Whoops. We're going to put a tilde. If you want to know how to make a tilde, just press shift on your keyboard and in the, um, the thing right it should be under escape at least that's what it is on my keyboard and that will make a tilde for you and then equal sign and then we're going to say nil so if the player is not equal to nil then let me just delete this space right here to make the code cleaner so if the player isn't equal to nil then we want to find the leader stats inside the player remember we made leader stats in this one so we're going to check for the leader stats local leader stats equals player find first child leader stats so we're looking for the leader stats inside the player by using find first child and then we're going to again check if it's not nil whoops put the leader stats before the tilde if leader stats is not equal to nil then if the leader stats isn't equal to nil, then we want to find the coins. So local coins equals leader stats find first child. 
and then we're going to put whatever you named it. So I named it coins. If coins isn't equal to nil, then we want to say coins value equals coins value plus one. So we're taking the coin value and then we're going to make whatever the value is plus one. So it's this 50, we're going to put 51. And then after all of that, guys, we're going to go to the end right here. So this will be after this chunk of code plays. Whoops. After this chunk of code plays, we're going to go right here and we're just going to say script.parent remove. Whoops. Sorry, guys. So we're going to put right here script.parent remove. We could put a capital R if we wanted. So we're going to put script.parent.remove. That basically will just destroy the coin. So now, let's test it out. Alright guys, so I'm in my game. We have our coin spinning. And then we're just going to touch it. It will destroy itself and we'll get a coin. So that's how you make a coin system in Roblox Studio 2021. If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe and press the like button. Um, I could do a part two if you guys want. And we could make a video on how to spin the coins in like a shop or something. So yeah, we could do that. And uh, remember, stay developing.